Hey everyone, what's going on? This is Chris Walton, your favorite real estate agent. Last week I talked to you about a seller's market and this week I am talking to you about what a buyer's market is. Stay tuned for today's video. Now there are several factors that may cause a drop in home prices and one may be economic disruption. So for example, if um, a big employer the big company shuts down their operations and decides to lay off their workforce, a number of their employees, those individuals that were working at that company, may no longer be able to afford their homes. Um, those individuals would likely seek employment elsewhere and be forced to move. With all the, all the movement happening, um, individuals selling their homes, the location would have an influx of homes on the market for sale, so there would be too much supply, and with no changes in demand, demand would stay the same, in order to get the home sold and meet those demands, the owner would have to drop the home prices to get their home sold. In addition to economic disruption, when interest rates trend high, that can also be another sign of a buyer's market. With interest rates, they're currently low. They're at about below 3%, if not at 3%, depending on your, your lender. Um, but when they were higher, around 8%, 9%, uh, 7%, that sort of thing, that's a sign of a buyer's market. When there are high interest rates, this causes the amount that people can borrow to be lower because the cost to borrow is higher. With a higher interest rate, you're paying more over the life of the loan, as well as your monthly payment will be more. Um, when the cost to buy, cost to borrow, when it is higher, this creates less buyers in the market that can afford homes, and then home prices have to drop in order to meet that demand of fewer buyers on the market. High inventory is another factor that creates a buyer's market. Um, for example, if a new subdivision is built in a certain area in a city, um, this new subdivision with newer homes has updated appliances, um, brand new features, brand new stove, brand new fridge, all that sorts of things. And this will put pressure on older homes in that area to either upgrade their, their, uh, their models, upgrade their appliances and their features, or to drop their home prices in order to sell on the market. So with a buyer's market, it is characterized by a decline in home prices and a reducing demand. A seller's market has a high demand for homes and a lower amount of inventory available. If you have any other questions on what a seller's market is and a buyer's market so that you can effectively make a great decision on either buying or selling your home, please feel free to contact me. My call number is 757-637-0036.